Welcome back to 918 Disc Golf and welcome to the thrilling finale that is Loser Buys Lunch. We're out at the Yale course now. Same day for us, different day for you guys. Uh, scores, at the top we've got Taylor, five down. I'm sitting just underneath him at four. And Isaiah's got some work to do, sitting at four over. This course is plenty scoreable as well, but there's a lot of wind to contend with now. Uh, seems to have rolled in, naturally. So we're gonna see how this plays out. All right, starting here at hole one, par three, 255 feet. Plays right yonder. You can count skips out of it because this grass is pretty tall. I would expect for the people playing the tournament, the third annual Wiley Open, that this will be handled before then. But just in case, you're gonna see exactly how it's gonna be played. Yeah, that's a great way to start. Slightly new addition to the bag. Got the uh, Halo Mako 3. Half under wasn't cutting it, it's just getting too flippy. Dude, I thought it had a chance to get in the basket for a second. Also, this T pad is counterintuitive. It goes that way, and the basket is that way. Just go in the basket so I can just quit. Okay. More like why be open, am I right? <laughs> Well, this indeed is not the ideal start. My one stroke lead could be evaporated just like that. Oh, hits the pole though. Yeah, I'll take it. That's just nice to par to start off. The goal is to get back to even. What is in my putters? Oh, my mini. Hello. Focus up, get back to even, let people make mistakes around me. Oh, wow, Evelina coming Whoa. back. <laughs> like, yep. That was a sick putt. It was in the basket. Jacob with an absolute park job for himself to start this round. All right, hole two, 578 foot par four. Last year during the Wiley Open, I did play it and it had a tent basket out there. I'm not sure the whole reason behind that. I'll let somebody that's smarter than me that runs the tournament comment down below and let everybody know why that was. But either way, we're playing the long pin. It's uh, out there and then a dog leg to the right. Going back to the forehand. Hopefully it's with me this round. Kind of. It had some oomph on it, but that's not far enough. You need to get almost out to the pole to have an upshot to the basket. It's looking like, oh, the, the wind just right dropped it, man. Like Jacob said in the intro, the wind is upon us. Yo, cue the Instagram inspirational lefty disc golf quotes. Yep. Phenomenal. This is my hole. All right, no, it's not the close one. It's the one way back there that I gotta get to. My disc is a little to the left of me. Let's see if I can do it. I have no idea. I have no idea either. Big tree was blocking the shot, but. Could be good, could be bad, could be OB, could be, I don't know, thank, thank the Lord. You know, the idea in my head, compared to what was executed, complete polar opposites. What a shot, dude. This is actually his hole. Yep. Parked it. Probably not, though. One thing I've got going for me is that it is a par four opportunity to save par. Yeah, he went OB, so did I. How you doing? Well, I wanted it wide, just not that wide. It's all right, you can get it next time. It was a good layup. As you can see, beautiful uh, Anheuser shot turned to too stable. I'm glad I actually chose that disc, because if I chose the other disc I had in my hand, I would have been in that tree line way over there. Hey, you know, I just want to say, um, our pain is your gain. We've got stickers like deep in our shoe already. So I hope you're enjoying the content. Make sure to like, subscribe, do all the YouTube things. Wow, you make us feel bad, dude. You're welcome. For one on the card. Good putt, Paige. New putt routine. All right, we have made it to hole three, 184 feet, par three. 
It's just right there. It looks like there's a little bit of OB in the back, so don't overthrow it. Just throw it in the basket. Or throwing it OB. That's it's a bit deep, buddy. <laughs> wow! I got scared, boys. I don't want that OB stroke on my life. I don't want anybody judging me. I'm literally going Draco. This thing is an absolute beefcake. And um, I know I can't throw it far, so this should be okay. I'm actually already judging you. Can I still go deep? OB. I think you're OB. Judge him, everybody. Judge him. Judge Just him. Judge him. It. Judge him. <laughs> Leave me alone. Good putt. Good putt. Luckily, it did not go OB. Oh. Nope, I'm not making excuses. This is a no excuse round right here. Whatever happens, happens. And I deserve it. Do not be deceived. There's a lot of headwind. You okay, Ryan? Can I actually? Dude, come on, man. Bro, how does that spit out that hit dead center? <laughs> what is happening? This wind has switched three times on one hole that's 200 feet. There he is. Boy. That's a basketball move for you. All right, hole four, 268 foot par three. Gap on the right hand side, you gotta go basically straight down and then skip to the left. It plays all of the whole 268 feet. Par three, we're gonna go with fireball. It was good until it hit that. Okay, I know what to do now. Maybe. Had a terrible shot with this on a hole one. We're going redemption. <laughs> Dude, actually, low key kind of skipped up there and might have a putt. I looked back and saw an amazing skip. <laughs> that disc is just coming out low. That might be a bench for the rest of this tournament. Or throw the Roadrunner just. No, I want to see the big hyzer. I'll go down there. Okay. Spotter Taylor on the move. Look at it go. <laughs> you can't say he's not a good friend. No. I've known him since third grade. He's a great guy. Just don't hit him in the noggin. Uh, I might. That might be perfect, dude. No way! I swear, you would have aced if it didn't hit the tree coming in. Oh. I swear. <gasps> well, that was fun. You guys ready to see something nasty? You know, if I would have actually hit the tree, I wouldn't have felt bad because I kind of rushed it, but we up there for a three. All right, this is a fun putt. Not only do I have to straddle, I got this guy to contend with. Almost. Yeah, pretty much uh, all you could ask for for an ace run from Isaiah. You know, I do uh, know that I'm losing right now, so I'm just here for the entertainment value. You know, if you hit an ace, it's kind of like winning. Yeah, pretty much. That's all I'm Good for you, you know? I'm not gonna do it again. <laughs> this is hole five, 166 feet. It's pretty much just around the corner. Um, it's a par three. And I guess I, uh, you guys get to see the fancy forehand. Oh boy. Well. It's too straight. You got, you re I mean, you really gotta get left. That just might about do it. It's kind of like a dud skip, but we'll see if that works. Oh boy, she fancy. Oh yeah. Oh. New routine coming here, folks. 160 foot hole, you better birdie it. Good putt. That was such like a weak putt because I was scared of the hill and I saw Jacob and I was like, I've been Evelyn the putts lately, so I didn't want to hit him. Sometimes it feels really clean and then sometimes it just feels like utter garbage. 
Hole six, par three, 255 feet. You see all that right there? Basket is just behind that. You got a forehand option. You also got a tight right backhand option. My option is just pray and hopefully it gets there. You might have fought through. That pyro's getting straight, which is weird. Another good little lefty hole. Thank you, Lord. I got a bug on my nose as soon as I threw. I might have paid that bug to get on his nose. Why would I do it to the guy that's in last place? Take advantages anywhere you can get them. I mean, you know where we're going to lunch. <laughs> Ruth's Chris, baby! Steak! I'm not even gonna say anything at this point. Go in the bucket. I mean, you have to. You have to throw it that hard. If you know you're going to throw it into a pile of limbs, you know it's going to get smacked down. So, like, I don't... Smack down. Great play. Great play. Yep. In my defense, I know that I'm still throwing the rival in, like, a 200-foot hole, but, like, dude, that was a good shot. A little high, but like it was good. It came out of my hand clean, okay? It did. You don't need to explain yourself, we know. I feel like I have to though. That, I've been throwing this disc horribly. You know, <laughs> I, I felt if I held the pose long enough, it might reverse and go in the basket. Truck razzed him. I'm just gonna commit. Yep. Where's that little basket of mine? Wow, that was actually a pretty good shot considering. Honestly, that was probably my best shot of the round. So far. Probably of the round. Hole seven, par three, 181 feet. Just right up this hill. And it's a very technical line. There is no Mando, so you could just go big spike hyzer over everything, which... That's what I'm going to do. At this point, that's probably what I'm going to do, because going down the middle trying to hit a gap is not in my arsenal right now. For you viewers at home, I will be panning to the basket, and hopefully it becomes in frame. Yeah, or I could just square this tree in front of me. You never know. Stay tuned. <laughs> well, I didn't have to do a whole lot on that one. Appreciate you, Taylor. This course is mentally creeping into my head and frustration is slowly starting to set. Cause like, they're, they're just short holes, right? They're short holes. You should be able to throw whatever you want at them and get a look. It's just not that easy. Can we execute the Heiser line? I know Taylor didn't. So this is a doors open moment. We don't like those a lot on this channel usually. Just seek revenge for me. That's all I care about. Dude, that a whole three T pad. And there's, dude, we have a right to left, right? We have a right to left. What is it doing? I mean, if you get it up, you know what's Billy? funny is that's still the best shot out of the entire group. It is a hundred percent the best I shot. I mean, you're not wrong. Yeah, you're not wrong. I wish I was kidding, but literally like a hundred feet behind you guys is whole three's T pad. So, pretty good shot if I do say so myself. I mean, that was at least close. Yeah, I thought, I thought the they scariest was going in. I've gotten with it, but still a three. I really do need to start looking at the positives. Even if you mess up on a 180 foot hole, you're probably still gonna have a look for a putt. So need to start seeing the positives rather than the negatives. Positives, positive things will happen. Wow, that was a sneaky guy. Hole eight, par three, 353 feet. An actual normal hole. Just want to throw it out to that grouping of trees. The basket finishes a little bit to the left. Positive thinking, positive thinking. That's sent. Finish. I did exactly what I wanted to do. That Still finished. I, I think played you... here before, so don't know if that's a putt. We'll find out. I think it will be. Oh, I sent her all right. All right, 
actually going to throw the rive on a hole that is probably meant to be thrown for if you're a noodle arm like me. <laughs> God bless, dude. <laughs> Playing shade golf because it is hot today, boys. Just cranking on it a little too much. Yeah. I mean, look at Jacob's shirt. This is the wind that we're starting to deal with now. That's kind of cool. It had like a slight air bounce effect to it. Not the kind that you really want if you're trying to run the basket like I was. Oh, we're up there. Hit the tree. Punch it in there. He punched it. Good boy. I think I can make my comeback, you know. Hole nine, par three, 267 feet. Just plays right out there in the open field. There is a road behind the basket that is OB. Low ceiling tree right off the tee. Straight into a headwind. Pick something stable. Let it finish out. Dude, this is crazy. This is not what we had in round one. We literally played like 10 miles down the road. We did have tornadoes hit in Oklahoma yesterday night, so maybe this is just the after effect. I'm going with the Draco, actually. I don't even know if I can throw a Draco that far. That's going OB, boys. We're going to take a page out of uh, Taylor's book. We're going to go fireball. Hanging out wider. Round the outside. I'd say that's pretty good. That was great. All right. I'm just going to go with it. Just believe. Positivity. Mm. Herman thinks that's actually a pretty good shot, man. Go in. Ow! Oh, my goodness. Usually the phrase goes, the door's open. We're Don't not saying bubble. that today because every time we say it, it doesn't happen. I'm bleeding positivity right now. This is in the bucket. Scorching headwind, maybe not. Nope, it will be, it will be. <laughs> Woo! I am so annoyed right now. Well, we out here getting birdies. That's still a stroke. Should have been an ace. Should have been. That would have been great because that would have been my first ever best forehand ace forehand ever. I didn't even ever. Hold 10. We'll call it 300. It says 299, but why not just round up at that point? Right up there, elevated on a little uh, rock stump thing. No mando off the tee, but you may as well go with the middle. Looks fun. We're going to go PD. I think it's pretty close. Now we're playing golf. Here we are. Here we go. Aim at that big tree. Let her go left. Or just throw right into a tree and let her go left. Come back for him? No, fade a little bit. Okay, it did. Oh boy, you hit one basket and it starts to get in your head. Oh yeah, definitely. The confidence is booming. <laughs> Do a little dance. Make a little love. Get down tonight. Hey, remember in last episode where I was missing those like crazy? Revenge is sweet. <laughs> hey, great putt, buddy. Thanks another one of those holes where it's right in front of you. You should get it, but you probably won't. 207 foot par three right across and past the bushes. I'm gonna go forehand. I thought I'd get pushed down way faster. Optimal and efficient. Deep or not. Go in! Oh, dude. Ouch! Good drop. 
This close. Old 12, par three, 257 feet. He's right behind the tree. You have access to a forehand hyzer. You have access to a sneaky backhand. This right to left wind, I'm thinking backhand is gonna be the optimal play. Bring your top zone. Look at that gap. <laughs> what trees. <laughs> like I, I see the big hyzer. But I just don't know if I can get it there, so might as well try forehand, which I also don't think I can get there. Oh my goodness, he mashed that. <laughs> Easy par. Also going the sneaky uh, hyzer line with his own. We don't like putting, so we got we like that a lot. All right, got a little tricky putt just through the gazebo. One would say Simon line, but it's called Isaiah line. Oh. It wasn't that Far. close, but I uh, definitely thought it was gonna go in. That Jacob is a talented man. I don't know about that. You are which you are what I say you are. Okay. Okay. You're talented. Okay. Old 13's a par three, 344 feet. Goes straight out here, basket finishes to the left, surrounded by a grouping of trees. Swing hard, destroyer. <laughs> that red car is in danger. Maybe not. Hard to say, I think that's like 50 feet. I think we landed in the same spot. As you all may know, I'm here for the memes pretty much, so I might as well just keep memeing and throwing a forehand. Oh, if I get that up, that's a whole meme Isaiah, I want you to know you're more than just memes, man. Thank you, Jacob. You're a friend. It sounded so sad. <laughs> Got to channel our inner spin putt guy here. I could go straddle make this a whole lot easier, but I feel like I'd be more accurate going straight at it. You're so annoying. <laughs> You're so annoying. <laughs> so stupid. Get the camera off me, dude. <laughs> What is going on? Dude. What a putt. Hole 14, par three. We serious right now? <laughs> but leave it to us. 918 disc golf to mess up this hole. 918 moment. What we were made for. It's either a 918 moment or a fantastic moment. In the middle moment? If you ask me to play a pitch and putt course, I'm probably gonna shoot 14 over par. <laughs> All right, let me show you how to do it, boys. It's really <laughs> investing in this forehand. <laughs> Man. It's been real close the whole day. It is framed up, and you know what they say about framed up putts. You're going to hit the first available tree on the right. There he is. Good putt. Thank you. Thank you. Woo. I'm here, boys. I'm here. Should have been throwing four hands the whole time. We're on hole 15. Par three, 174 feet. Again, just a little doozy guy. For them to mess up and me to birdie. 
Oh baby. Oh, what, oh wow. a, what a tree direct. Thanks for the tree direct. I think I've learned my lesson. You should just go stand still. <laughs> go in. It's okay, you're good for that. Oi. I tried to give it a little run. I tried. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> little dancey dance. Goes in your eye. All right, we're on hole 16, par four, 478. It looks like it's just right there. Way down there. Follow the poles. You want forehand off this hole too? She's a beefy boy. Yeah. I mean, she's down there. That's plenty fun. It's pretty good. That's all you need for the I birdie guess, on yeah, this one. That's fine. It's a short hole. Oh, dude, if I got any air underneath that, it actually would have been mashed. And for reference, Jacob does smash that thing. Big time. Come down for him. Ooh, oh, that's Lord. getting carried. Left or right. <sighs> Mistakes have been made. The wind ain't playing no games no more. No, it's not, but it works in our favor being a righty. It's left to right, so if I throw a zone at that pole, we should be fine. Should be fine. Just fine. Well executed. On the pull. Well executed. Framed up. Framed up Isaiah. Framed up. Aw. This lately, don't even think about it. <laughs> you might want to start thinking about it. We're not going to discuss what just happened, okay? And there's me. Hole 17, par three, 176 feet. Shocker, another upshot hole that will probably get messed up. Take your best little turnover shot or maybe a straight forehand that finishes. You should give yourself a look. Don't know if Creek, if that little Creek over there, is that casual? Casual. Casual. Thank you, Jacob. I went deep, didn't I? Yep. Not bad though, it's a putt. Oi. Oh. Do something stupid? Throw it into a tree? Pain. Pain. I'm filling in. Quite the putt for the boy. Yeah. But those aren't the ones he misses, so, you know. No, it's, uh, I have to be either 80 feet Outside 80 feet or within 10 feet, there's a chance I'm probably going to miss. Beautiful. Okay. Final hole here at the Yale course. Hole 18, par 3, 197 feet. I think there's a bug on the lens there. Yep, let's get him. Here we go. <laughs> Plays right on top of that hill. Looks like the ideal gap is going to the right side, but then you could have an elevated putt. I see a sneaky little forehand line that I'm gonna to try to get with the zone. Get around it, get inside it. Yeah, you know, worst case scenario is you hit the trees and you don't have a look at all. Yeah, um, the way those limbs are hanging down, I genuinely don't think I have a putt. And here's the thing, um, I'm down two, so the only way that I come back and tie Taylor to force the playoff is if I ace. Because he's definitely threeing from there. So. I'm gonna go fireball. Try to put it around the corner. Dude, if that somehow went in, that'd have been the most insane ace you've ever seen on camera. <laughs> or I'm not gonna do any of that and see how springy a tree is, and they're not springy, just let you guys know. I know those bragging rights on the line, but I'm not just gonna lay this up and take the win. We don't do that here. 
I see a little window that if I can hit that, this tailwind's gonna drop it, it's gonna go right in the basket. Isaiah, it's your debut on the channel. Uh, actually, the last video was your debut on the channel, but what do you gotta say to all your new fans? Um, I just would like to thank them for giving me the power to be able to throw forehands today. Because if it wasn't for you, it wouldn't have happened. I just wish they gave you the power to putt. Oh I like putt. You know, it's hard to say, because like, given the scenario, if I put the disc close, Taylor definitely lays up and you know wins anyway. But like, I had I have every opportunity now to seal this up to tie and uh, push us to a playoff. So. I see the line he's talking about. I have to go in between these branches and hope the wind just drops it. If I can do that, that'd be a good time. Oh my God. So we're not here all day. I'm just gonna lay this one up. Good layup. Okay, well, you know, good thing is it wouldn't have gone to a playoff anyway, but you know, I tried. You did. And it was a fantastic battle. The man rolled forever away. I don't even know how this putt gets this far, to be honest. Like, it just went right over the basket. Yeah. All right, for my dignity and honor. Come here. We're not in shambles. What a par. All right, but that's going to wrap up uh, Loser Buys Lunch. Appreciate you guys watching. If you enjoyed, give us a like, give us a subscribe. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.